Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way to everybody who has been watching my videos. Thank you so much for the love and support. It's truly appreciated. And I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. So drop me a line. And if you feel like you're vibing with the videos and you would love for somebody else to vibe with them too, go ahead and share. It's truly appreciated. So with that being said I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and the video I'm doing today um, is called twin flame 101 hey Oka's darkness tries to invade the kingdom but they fear that you find out you're the heir to the throne um, you know there's a lot of times that you may be on you YouTube I say universe Lord Jesus YouTube and you hear about different people talking about Chris uh, kingdom husbands kingdom wives you know um enemy trying to invade your kingdom um or you know god is preparing you for your inheritance and inheritance doesn't always have to be about money but it's just different things about your spiritual your emotional your mental you know you're gaining riches off of those different things when you're allowing yourself to heal and a lot of times when people are threatened and um fear the vibrations of you um they try to manipulate different things that you know uh that can invade your purpose you know a lot of times we can um get aggravated by certain things in life you know I me mean? so many people you know even you know if you heard me about my situation you know i talked about that too what led me to my purpose as well as a lot of other people are like rousing you know it's my copied off of me or i'll send up here telling somebody about my ideas and then they stole them and made them their own you know and, and, and it, it can be very frustrating when things like that happen um but it's like you you number one we have to always remind my, ourselves you know anything it, it doesn't matter who it is whether it is a best friend close friend um, family members or whatever they always um, always say be very selective about what you uh, speak on especially if it's something that you're trying to manifest or certain things that you know projects that universe has got you in um, got you in the vibe of creating you always supposed to keep that to yourself you know there the wrong energy can spoil situations and it ends up unfolding for you I had to learn that through a lot of my times through my purpose and you know um there it, it doesn't take anybody really to be you know envious of you you know it, it's just like there'll be times like you know i'll tell people hey what, be careful about what you write in the you know the comments it's like rosalyn would you wish something on me and it's not me and i'll tell people real quick i'm that type of person i want to see everybody win when it is not and i'll tell them it, clear as day i want you to win but your winning should not be uh pertaining to what you're trying to steal from another person you know, and it, that's true. When you acknowledge yourself of knowing that you're heir to a throne, you know, there'll be different times where people can want to seek and destroy that. They will try to manipulate different things so they can keep the kingdom. But it's like required is kept, you know, if it was entitled to you, it would have been for you. You know, anytime you have to do any different things that manipulates that 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 bond towards that connection of that that per that purpose of uh blessings, abundance, prosperity is in the life you have to sit up here and do different things of uh, treachery, deceit, lies, or whatever. That wasn't entitled to you. It should be something that is given. You know, different things like that happen a lot. You know, a, a lot, a lot, a lot. But you have to allow yourself to keep focus. You are the heir to your throne. You're either the king or the queen, the god or the goddess. You're going to still be that. You know, until, you know, it's just like it's always passed on to you. You know, um, when you have a kingdom, you make sure, you know, if you worked hard for your kingdom, you're going to make sure it's all secure. You're going to make sure that it doesn't fall in the wrong hands when you know you have worked hard for different things that has taken place in your life. And if you know that you want to make sure that you have a legacy, you know um within your life that you have worked hard for you know that we're all working on a legacy right now on you know breaking all the curses and uh you know the cycle says taking place in our life in which it hasn't been easy whatsoever but it's just like a lot of times when we have different things going on in our lives we might second guess certain things we may doubt we may fear we have concerns but it's just like universe and god always say never worry you know, never worry. What is entitled to you is always going to be for you. And you have to just allow yourself to work on that. And it's just the fact that a lot of times when you're like, I don't feel like I ever get this. Or I don't think this will ever be over. You know, and then it's just the fact is universe always tells you it was always yours from the beginning. 
you know it was always yours for the beginning they're just getting you into that right alignment to where you can vibe with that you know they want to make sure when they open those doors of prosperity and abundance that you're not going to sit up here and foobar your situation because this is something that is going to carry on and they want you to be able to take advantage of you know the opportunities of of strengthening yourself with that bond of that door of whatever prosperity they have uh open for you and those are the different things that will take place. And you'll see the different challenges that comes into the world where, you know, people, you know, do certain things to try to make it go in their favor. And that's where the challenges usually lie ahead at. Um, that universe will place that out there. But also, devil will weigh heavy on it as well. You know, if he knows that it can bring, bring something to where they show that God is really in line for somebody's favor or where God can truly exist on something and making the impossible possible. Oh, he will do any and everything to manipulate that situation on um, making sure that doesn't take place. But that is no, you know, the universe and God will always tell you that is not your concern. You have so many unseen and seen, you know, uh, entities of, uh, you know, army. That is working in your favor to make sure that happens you know at times we fall short there may be different times that we want to give up because things just seem like it's not going to work out in their favor and they're always telling you you know if we we keep sending you different signs we keep sending you different messages through songs through posts you know through videos whatever you're watching you know or whatever it tends to get your attention is letting you know you know what's taking place into your life and they want you to be believing of that you know um nothing can take nothing you know no nobody or nothing can take anything away that god has promised and they're always letting you know you are the the heir to your throne on everything that has taken place in your life you worked hard for that this is something that god has already bestowed upon you before you were even here you know he was preparing you for those different things you had to go through different trials tribulations pain you know trauma hurt anger resentment all those different things and it showed you you know what true warrior you are and everything that's taking place in that that factor and it's just like going through all these different things it can be very hard you know, it can be very hard. You know, it's like nobody say it'll be easy. And it's not because a lot of times we feel like, you know, if we're entitled to something, we're deserving of it. It's just going to fall in our laps. And it's like, no, God, I don't work like that. Maybe different things that I give you that I know you're going to need along the way. But it'll be that ultimate one. He will make you go in hell and high water to make sure that, that you... Uh, you learn the life lessons and every experience that that you partake in no matter if it's good or bad you supposed to see it all as the same thing because you're learning different lessons off of it you're growing yourself you're strengthening yourself you're recognizing your power on all levels and all selves you know and these are the things that's combining with us and when we're doing that it goes through hardship it goes through you know uh tough circumstances you know dark moments in our lives you know times where our faith is shaky you know our belief is kind of faulty you know um, and just trying to really understand if God is really existing in that. And it's like, yeah, through everything, you know, um, you have your good days, you have your bad days. And throughout all that, you know, you allow yourself to open your open that door for free will to ask for assistance. You know, they're always there. It's like they're always telling you whatever, you know, problems, hurt, fears, um, anger that you have upon certain things that you're concerned about, especially if it's outer entities doing that, um, that's taking place to say, give it to them. It's already taken care of. Whatever challenges you're going through is already taken care of. They know further about certain situations even before you do. They know that um, the work the enemy's doing before they do. Just like they know the situations is going to take place, it's going to lay hand in your life before you do. And they're always telling you to keep working hard. You know, allow yourself to use whatever is going against you as that fuel to keep moving. You know, never allow yourself to stop. The only thing, the only person, you know, allow me to retort. The only person, see my music even stopped on that one. Only you can stop you. Nothing and nobody else can stop you except you. So you have to allow yourself to keep moving. You know, even if you have doubt, even if, if it even looked like the situation just is out of your hands and it's just not going to go in your favor. 
is always going to go in your favor no matter what has taken place it will always go in your favor and that is the reason why you know things keep happening you know as I've said in the other video it's like you're creating your own destiny that you feel like you deserve you're creating your own reality that you feel like you deserve and it's just like universe is at this point right now they're getting a very aggressive with us by different situations where it's getting heavy they're bringing different people to come back into your life just to see if you're gonna learn from it are you is your we your weakness is gonna be stronger than your strength or is your strong your strength gonna be stronger than your weaknesses so they bring different entities back into your life to see if you're gonna be tested on different things that you know is no longer serving you or different things that you know that people just don't want to see you know good taking place into your life you got to be careful about the things that you say around certain people, you know, because, you know, when people pick up a bone, they carry one back, you know, and they work in unseen forces, even though they can't beat, you know, uh, God, he, he's going to win at all times, you know, ain't no default at it. You're going to win regardless, you know, and different things take place and it really shows you where your magic is. And a lot of times it takes us to go through tragedies just to realize that, you know, there's so many different things that I fell short on, you know, um, having to be able to talk about my purpose, what, what led me here. And it, it has not been a good battle. It's been a very tough one, but also it showed me where a beast is starting to create and I'm like oh snap <laughs> you know I can really get there you know and it, it was just like it took me a long time to sit up here and say you know I appreciate those enemies I appreciate you know the manipulation you know all the different things that took place in my life because it allowed me to see who I truly was as a person as a warrior as a beast you know and allow myself to be the OG of keep on being persistent you have to be persistent you know and it it's just like you're dissolving your resistance that's going to be another video you you know your persistence is dissolving your resistance and it's just like you're allowing yourself to say nah you know god promised me that nah i ain't gonna allow myself to just hand something over after i don't worked hard for it you know going through the good and the bad and the ugly too and you think i'm about to just walk away that easy no <laughs> it's like no nah, I ain't about to do all that like no and you're going to have to allow yourself to be very aggressive with yourself because this is at that point where you're really seeing what you can really do with your life you know you have to stay motivated you know if things were so easy you, I mean what would you really truly appreciate what would you really find out about yourself when the stakes got really high and different things is just it, it just didn't flow the way you expected it to you would never know the power that you had invested in yourself you would never know how determined you can be when things are starting to real get get really heavy and sloppy around you when you see different enemies and you know banding together to do any everything to make sure you crumble you know those are the things that you know get shifted because they don't want you to you know they don't want you to find out you're the throne to you know to the kingdom and you don't I mean they don't want you to know that you own the throne of the heir that owns the throne to the kingdom and those are the different things that's going to take place in your life where it's going to help you learn it's going to help you grow you're going to appreciate even the bad times better than the good times because it showed you really who you truly are it showed you you know the circles that work against you it shows you the energy that is working against you and those are the things that's letting you know the universe is like if it com comes in connection with you it was a lesson that you needed to learn it was a thing that you needed to heal from there are certain things you had to detach to allow yourself to accept appreciate show gratitude and let it go you know it's like you are the weakest link goodbye you know but it made made both of us strong you trying to talk about somebody weak link but i'm saying that situation was a weak link but you know just being able to allow yourself to know that you know your your powers are really manifest right now even when it's going through a shadow of a doubt it's truly manifesting for you so you allow yourself to be consistent and allow yourself to be you know uh, going going in in that perspective of being persistent about yourself show devotion and determination and motivation towards yourself because it's like you are the heir to your throne you, you know and you're about to take your rightful place you know that essence has already been sitting up there illuminating for you and it's just been waiting for you to come up in you know and just go i was like come on man and just letting your you know getting just getting in your say your your seat and you know and it's just allowing you it's like they don't take the measurements and everything for you already so they're just waiting on you to come in and it's just the fact you're owning you're owning to your life you're owning to your destiny these are the things you're, you're creating for yourself you know what took you um what road took you to the point when you hold doubt 
and um, fear into your life, and you you didn't have that that belief or a faith within yourself when you did that. Now you're allowing yourself to feed off of that and just say, you know what, I knew what I was missing into my life. I knew the things that I needed to use to convert over from a, a bad experience to a, a beautiful outcome. You know, negative circumstances to a positive outcome. And these are the things that's taking place for that. You know, whatever God has promised you, it's going to still be there for you. You know, no is always the next opportunity. There's always a way around that situation. And if, you know, that door opens, well, it ain't going to be an if. When that door opens, you know, nobody ain't going to be able to shut that. You know, there's always a, you know, a, a crazy plot twist to every single thing that goes on into your life. And you usually are the plot twist. <laughs> so I hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video, y'all. Much love to you. Like, man, I've been up since like 4 o'clock this morning. Set up here doing, I was like, you know, I want to go ahead and make me some videos. It's been a while since I made some, you know, especially early in the morning on a Saturday. So I hope y'all having a blessed you know, prosperous day, a prosperous, relaxing weekend. Please be responsible and safe at every single thing that you do. And I would love to give a post notification shout out to Wildflower, Daniel R. Uh, Barkus, uh, Jessica uh, Halton, and Tara Rarer, Ray, uh, Ray uh, Force, and Miss Jet. Much love to you as well. And uh, Jessica Lee, much love to you as well. You know, um, like I said, I'll leave all my contact information in the description box below. And if you um, are not busy tonight, I think it's like around 7.45. Yeah, 7.45, I'll be going ahead and have my chat. So I'll go ahead and post that up um, at least about 30 minutes to an hour before that. I know I said, it's like, girl, you've been saying that for the last two days. Well, last yesterday, it wasn't a good day for me. So I wasn't really trying to do, you know, chit chat like that. You know, when I'm in that experience, you know, it was good for me to make videos. But I'm not really trying to exchange that vibe with nobody, you know, on live chat anyway. So um, I'm in much in the back, back in the better back in the better vibes that I am today so I'm gonna go ahead and do that today so um you know knowing whatever you're manifesting into your life is going to come so much bigger and better than you ever imagined it's come sooner than you ever predicted so allow yourself to keep being consistent be your own supporter be your own cheerleader no matter what it may seem like to now to now it can always be better to later. <laughs> okay? So just allow yourself to keep keep manifesting, knowing that you are creating your destiny, even if things look cloudy around you. Okay? So much love to you. Peace. Namaste.